All right, let's get back to the markets and look who's with us now. David Barnson. We need this guy. We need David Barnson, who is a dividend guy. We need him at this moment in time. A little stability with dividends. We love it. All right, David, let's start with your pick of Gilead Sciences. What does it pay and why do you like it? Yeah, so let me go through a couple of these picks first, and then I want to make a comment about dividend stocks overall right now, sure. Stuart. Gilead, 4.5% yield. Many people thought it was just a remdesivir play. You remember it was a COVID antiviral. It was one of the things that was on the menu of treating COVID. Gilead is a longtime company with a huge pipeline of product, 4.5% yield, tons of cash on the balance sheet for more M&A. And we just think we're looking for things that have not traded up a lot. And Gilead is one that is still at a really attractive price, about 12 times earnings. Exxon Mobil. Yeah, let me tell you, this is a story for the ages. They took Exxon out of the Dow and put in Salesforce. Since then, Salesforce is down 30% and Exxon's up 100%. <sighs> Exxon's up well over 100% from its COVID bottom, and it's yielding 4.5%. They did not cut the dividend through that period of time when oil prices collapsed. They haven't cut the dividend over 70 years. Hmm. And I just think you look at 4.5% yield. They have uh, reduced $20 billion of debt in the last year alone. And now we're going forward with high demand and un uh, inadequate supply. Exxon's a great story. Okay, I want to get your comment about dividend stocks in at the end, but I want you to do, tell me about MetLife first, real fast. Oh, sure. MetLife uh, is up today. Market's down a lot. MetLife's up. Great earnings last night. Another big dividend grower, uh, about a 3.5% yield. Okay. And if you think the long term interest rates are going higher, MetLife benefits from that. Okay, dividend stocks overall. What's your comment? I. You know, Stuart, I've been on your show for years now yeah. talking about high valuation and big tech. And, and a lot of the big tech names have continued to do very well. The only thing I want to say is when you see Facebook go down 26% in one day, and I will not call it meta, I'm calling it Facebook. And when you see uh, Netflix have the same thing happen a few weeks ago, this is a volatility that is embedded in these companies because of high valuation. Now that's fine, some people want to play it, it's high stakes, big earnings or big losses. But I will say, the dividend growth world gives people the ability to get great okay. returns without that level of volatility, more stable, consistent returns as they continue paying you quarter over quarter. That was a very good pitch, David. Very good indeed. And we hope to see you again soon. David Barnson, everyone. Good man. Thanks,